Isabel and Frank Bagley are local legends on the horticultural scene. There were once 150 glass houses here and as many workers, producing up to 12 million plants a year, mostly for cut flowers. I started growing poppies when I was eight years old. Did you? <laughs> oh, good heavens. I was just, I just wanted to grow flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Frank was the eldest of six children and was just 17 when both his parents died. I uh, decided to join the army. Just things were pretty crooked in 1942 when I joined. She wrote to me while I was away. <laughs> Made all the difference. <laughs> I was discharged in uh, 31st of January, 46, and we married on the 25th of May, 46. <laughs> yeah, you're a smart worker. <laughs> Isabel and Frank shared the work quite equally in the early days. Yeah, <laughs> he went shopping, he got two axes, two shovels, <laughs> two mattocks, one for you, one for me. So you always did the same amount of work? Just about. <laughs> no, extras, because I had four children to look after as well. <laughs> exactly. Our biggest asset was our migrant workers. They'd come here with very little English, but they were our friends, our workers, our everything. Frank and Isabel are semi-retired now and they've sold off or leased out most of the glass houses, but they have kept a few. This is Isabel's glass house. Frank and their son Les have created it for her. They've filled it with plants not normally grown in Melbourne. Now tell me, in your glass house, what is your favourite thing in here? Well, it's not ready yet but uh, mangoes and then pawpaws. And, and that's all right, that, that's ready to eat and they won't let me touch it until you finish <laughs> filming it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what about the bananas that I see? Yeah, bananas are beautiful. Do you have one every day? Yep, sometimes mm. three. <laughs> <laughs> now, Liz, why did you do this in this hot house? I'm doing it for my mum, you know, she's worked all her life in the farm and and I thought when she was getting older I thought I'd like to have something that's just for her. The glass house contains mostly food plants but there is also this delicate beauty. That's a rarity. Yeah, yeah. Lapidurea, Jane, mm. yeah. We, we grew these all from seed and mm. uh, we've got three different colours now. Apparently it's the national flower of Chile. Now this is what I've been aiming for. <laughs> That's a black mulberry. That's the black mulberry, yep. The size of it. They don't come much bigger than that. Like they flower and fruit okay, but you've got yep. a trick to tell us. Yeah, we can make them fruit all year round by cutting a, as soon as you cut that off, mm. within two weeks it'll have flowers on it. All year round we can, we can induce flowering because of the temperature in here. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You should have put it all in at once. I'll do that, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh. yeah, Dad, show us how it's done. Yeah. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> What's the verdict? Beautiful. Mm. Oh, yeah. Sensational. He comes in here every day and picks some fruit off and that's, that's, what, that's how you get to 88. Now, we've spent a long time looking at the glass house that Frank tends for Isabel, but take a look at what Frank's done in another glass house for himself. Oh, so he bowls that way. You're, You're dumping your bowls, Frank. Oh, yeah, no, it took the weight oh, off it, didn't it? Oh, beach oh. Yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> After all these years, I got what I wanted. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love tropical fruit. And when he finished up, I thought, well, we get something for us for a change after all these years. <laughs>